and welcome to the Southern African Endurance Series pre-race show. Can you believe it? We're already at the end of the season, but the action is not over because the SAE Championship is still up for grabs. Next up, we head to the Cape International Nine Hour at Kilani, and this is what you can expect when speed meets sound. Kalila, thank you so much for joining me. Um, it's an amazing season so far in SAES. You had quite a vision creating the series. We didn't want to fail the legacy of Dr. Pierce. We didn't want to fail the competitors that have been enjoying this for many, many years before us. We wanted the series to be better. We wanted the series not just to be better. We wanted the series to have a future. What do I mean by that? Part of the reason that we got involved as uh, Africa Race Together in, into the series was, was a long-standing vision of breathing new life to motor racing and motorsport in South Africa. And our vision as Africa Race Together was to promote inclusiveness. So that's the main reason that caused us to acquire the series to show that all of us, black, white, we can be part of this beautiful uh, uh, sport and an amazing sport that can bring a lot of benefit to all of us in our mm. beautiful country. So we wanted them to participate and show this vision through SAES. So that's why we are humbled by the fact that Mr. Pierce gave us this opportunity. The music festival that we are incorporating, it's going to be a big part of the show now. Every single round will have this show. We have decided that this is our launch pad now, proper launch pad of the music festival incorporated with, with racing. So next year, it's going to be every single round. We will have different artists, uh, performing and bringing the audience and incorporating music and motorsport. Uh, I, I, I personally thought that car fanatics or speed fanatics uh, are more on the grown side or they love all kinds of music so I wanted to bring together different genres you know to cater to the different kinds of people that will be there. So we have a little bit of Guaido with Mduma Silela. We've got Soul, which is me, and Shikana. And then we've got the legendary Oskido for House and Amapiano. So it's, an, it's, a, it's really a, a nice mix, you know, to just attract all kinds of people. Because, I mean, race fanatics are really, really all kinds of people who love all kinds of music. I mean, outside of the music, you, you know, who doesn't love cars? And I know that coming from the township, that's all that's been happening, you know, the racing, you know, maybe might be at a different scale or on a different scale, but it's racing nonetheless, you know, and a lot of black people had not kind of like had those doors open for them where they can actually have their, um, like a, a, a race event, a racing event, you know, it, you know uh, of this magnitude. So I would say, come out, you know, have fun. There'll be, you know, loud sound. I love the exhaust pipe sound, and I know guys love that from the township. So it doesn't matter where you're from. Just come through, enjoy the race, enjoy the music, enjoy the food, you know, the drinks that will be there, the, you know, the atmosphere. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. And I hope that people believe me when I say this. It's going to be absolutely because I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen racing mixed with music before, you know? So come, let's experience, it, let's experience this together at the same time. What's also really exciting is that for you as a driver and uh, your team, you have a new team, you have a new car, you have so much excitement that's happening for you at the end of the season. This is how Into Africa Racing started. It's a whole new team. It's a fully Rainbow Nation team. Yes, we own the team and uh, we are excited. We started from scratch. We didn't race much this year. We have now raced two races and we've done well in these races. And uh, thanks to the team, thanks to the young people that are running that team. The oldest guy in the team is 27. There's no one older than 27. The youngest is 22. Now, imagine what we are trying to say here. Yeah. We are trying to give young people an opportunity to do what 
the love, the passion that they carry. I just jump into the car, the car is ready. Uh, I see now we have a new car, they've decided to give it a new number and a new name. That is reflective of the new focus. And uh, yes, we are excited about this. We're really excited. It's, it's, it's a good opportunity for young people. Stuart, brand new car, how's it driving? Yeah, brand new car, it's uh, really exciting. Um, obviously, a lot different concept to, to Kulila's Lamborghini. So we're still building it up, still a lot of programs we have to run through and a run, a run program we have for today. But Kulila is really happy and that's the most important and I'm loving driving the car as well and to have an opportunity to drive a Lamborghini and an Aston Martin GT3 on the same day doesn't come along often. So I'm very thankful for the opportunity and also the trust that Kulila has in me to put me in his cars. So now we're work, working towards Cape Town and hopefully we can, can get some good results down there. So tell me a little bit more about this Aston. How's it driving? How does it feel on the track? Yeah, the Aston definitely a lot more stable um, in, in the slower corners, but it's also, also the engine is in the front and most of the GD3 cars have it in the back. So it's basically Bentley, Mercedes and uh, the Aston has the engine in the front. So it's a, a lot different concept. So it's still a lot we have to get used to, especially on the setup side. It's a, it's a lot different, but at least we have some, some good help from Europe as well to help us to, to figure the car out and to learn it. Um, it's a, very complicated <laughs> car, very advanced, so it's a lot to learn and a lot to grasp. We've been working really hard for the last few days, so also kudos to the team for, for what they did. They pulled a, a few all-nighters to get the car ready for today, so really proud of the team. And I think from Kulile's side, he's also very proud of all the guys. So, last question, are we bringing it to the track in Cape Town? Yeah, yeah, the car will definitely be in Cape Town. It's going to look a little bit different than what it's looking today. So it's going to and be... And it's going to bring some competition. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. And I think it's going to be very competitive fuel down in Cape Town. A lot of top drivers coming to play. So it's going to be very exciting. So I'm really looking forward to it. And I think it will also be very good for the championship to have such a competitive field in Cape Town. Um, you made a big announcement and you just kind of leapt over it. Chops is joining you for the first time this season. This is exciting because he's also fighting for the championship. An opportunity for Chops to race with Gwanda came and we asked Chops to really help. Uh, Gwanda has been with Chops since Gwanda was three years old. This was an, an honest opportunity, a beautiful opportunity and a historic opportunity. And that pair has done all of us proud and uh, they have raced and won a couple of races they are leading the championship and this coming weekend uh, in Kelani Kwanda has a, a big chance of being the first man of color to win the South African endurance and we have to support Kwanda and that team to make sure that this dream is realized even if that dream means that Chops would not participate in that car, he's already done and put so much value in this dream. And with us that have not competed for the championship, we've not raced the whole year. We've always kept the seat open for him, you know, because he's part of this team. So uh, Chops will be joining us in the car, and uh, he'll be the third driver to myself, Stuart White, and Chops. And I've just learned now from Wayne that Chops is second in the championship. And it gives SAES an opportunity of having one and two men of color in the, in the championship, you know. And this is an amazing achievement. It is an amazing achievement in the sense that we've created yet another history in this country. Myself and Chops were the first men of color to compete in GT3. And I will forever thank Chops for coming back in the sport and the legacy that he brings into the sport. So things are really heating up at the top of the table in terms of SAE. I'm sitting here with Heinrich Latachan and Kwanda McQuena. Heinrich, let's start with you. You guys didn't compete in the very first race, but you're now sitting very close to the top of the leaderboard with a beautiful new car. Yes, um, we unfortunately couldn't do the first race, but the same for Kwanda. I mean, so I think it's all fair in that regard. Um, we, we brought in a new car in the middle of the season, had some teething problems like you usually have, you know. Um, but, but I mean, otherwise, we, we're very happy to be in this position and at least be in for a shot. So we'll try and make it difficult for, for Kwanda. Kwanda, it's been a fun season for you so far. You've had also a couple of issues with the car, but managed to pull out some really great points. 
Yeah, uh, with it being the first season in, in the Audi, there was just a few things we had to get used to, even on my side. It being the first rear-wheel drive car I've driven, but uh, as a team, I think we've all just done a huge job just uh, helping me just to get comfortable with the car and with the team itself, uh, just doing their best job every race, making sure the car is 100% uh, with no technical mm. errors and everything. So on my side, uh, it's been a very good year, uh, <laughs> a huge learning curve, but... Uh, Super grateful, yeah. But the year's not over yet. We're going into the last race in Kilani, and both of you have some aces up your sleeves. Am I correct? Yeah, it sounds like it. I mean, I'm also hearing some rumors from, <laughs> from their side with bigger cars. Um, but um, from our side, uh, we'll bring my son, Henk Latagan, into the team for the nine hour. It's a long race, and um, it's difficult to do it with two guys. So, so hopefully, he'll be like the dark horse for us. But his stamina is up there because he normally races Dakar and rallies. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he needs to also take <laughs> care of his dad a bit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and Kwanda, you've got some aces up your sleeve. Do you want to um, confirm those rumors that we're hearing? Um, I don't know if the team has posted yet, but uh, as, as we kind of already know, uh, it'll be my first race in a GT3 car. So uh, probably get to testing within the next week or so just to get me acquainted and comfortable in the car. But uh, it's going to be an exciting one, yeah. So along with the new car, there's some new faces that you're driving with? Yes, uh, I'll be partnered with uh, Andrew Rackstraw from Cape Town and then uh, one Audi Works driver, Dennis Marshall. Okay, so what are you expecting them to bring to the team? Just uh, Dennis, more with uh, knowledge and just uh, he's very experienced with the car he's driven the G gt3s for a good five years so i know uh it's always good to have someone with a lot of experience just to help me through the weekend uh explain the car to me and just yep. uh it it's new for me and andrew so just to get us through the weekend and uh kind of guide us through how it's done so another driver that's also sitting at the top of the leaderboard in terms of South African endurance is Chop Sabuka. And he's going to be also in a brand new car going into Cape Town. What does that do in terms of competition? No, I mean, I think it's um, a lot of interesting news that we're hearing. Um, but I mean, I think great for, great for them. I'm, it's nice to have more cars on the grid. Uh, I'm really glad for all of them to, 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 to step up. I mean, that's what we need. We need the, the, the younger guys to to get into the big machines mm -hmm. so and I mean from our side we'll we'll definitely focus on getting to the end of the nine hour I think that's <laughs> the most important for now and I think what's also great is that we're going to Kilani Kilani nine hour is famous it is probably one of the most looked forward to races of the season and it's a full grid one of the biggest grids ever it's completely sold out yeah I mean that's the that's probably the best news I mean and <clears throat> if I may say thank you very much to uh, Solili for, for, for getting this series together, getting, uh, taking, uh, looking after it, and I mean, it will be great if we can step on this and, um, and have the same grits for all the other races next year. All right, well, as you can hear, the drivers are excited about Kilani. You can come and join us, so make sure you get your tickets now and join us on the 9th and 10th of December at Kilani International Raceway.